For months, writers and actors have been off the job and on strike, seemingly with no end in sight as they wait for movie studios to meet their conditions. And the impacts go far beyond Hollywood and New York, affecting workers right here in Oregon. Fox 12's Drew Marine spoke with locals who are navigating this pause in work. It's been about four months since the Writers Guild of America went on strike and nearly two months since actors joined them, all with the common goal of being treated and compensated fairly. The one cent checks that you see a lot of actors putting on social media, I've gotten many of them. <laughs> and uh, from big projects too, stuff that you think people would be making good residual money off of and it's just dried up in a lot of ways. Um, so we're fighting for that. We're fighting for AI protection. Um, to make sure that we own the rights to our image and um, a variety of other things having to do with safety and scheduling, et cetera. And it's not just actors and writers in L.A. impacted by this pause. Every corner of the industry, even here in Oregon, is struggling right now as WGA and SAG-AFTRA wait for their terms to be met. From PAs to camera operators to sound to hair and makeup, um, it's the crews that are being probably hit the hardest right now. Michelle Damus is an actor herself and Portland's SAG-AFTRA president and says luckily some work is still allowed. And Portland has a pretty vibrant commercial uh, industry so that is able to put some of our crews to work. The pause is also trickling down to post-production businesses like Refuge VFX here in Portland. They bring in big projects from Los Angeles to the metro area and have done visual effects for shows like Righteous Gemstones, Grimm, and Westworld. Thankfully for them, owner Fred Ruff says work hasn't come to a halt just yet. We've been lucky enough to have two projects, um, actually both with Amazon, that will take us through this period um, and we've been really fortunate where some companies that don't have work uh, pretty much are shutting down and closing until the work starts again. But they're ready to adjust to make it through because he says he knows how important this strike is. You know it's not easy for any company to just turn on a dime and start doing different work. Um, so we're going to try to pull some levers and see what we can do on uh, scale back a little bit and try to cut down on hours just to make sure that we can kind of conserve as we go through this tough time. Drew Marine, Fox 12 Oregon. Thank <laughs> you.